Hey, what's up, Hiding? Welcome to another section on how to build a blog with Laravel and Flutter. So, this part of the video, we're going to be working on our admin authentication system. So, yeah, so without further ado, let's get started. So, the first thing we want to go ahead and do is um, basically, we want to go ahead and create our admin controller. So, I'm going to open up my terminal. As you can see, it's been opened up in this place. Okay, so when that, once that is done, we can go ahead and do PHP, the sun. I want to go ahead and to make controller. What controller we're we making? We want to create our, our controller is our alt folder. So we're going to do make controller alt then slash admin controller. All right, so click enter. Then we have a folder say PHP as the sign not found. So yeah, we have to seed into um API. Remember, so we can go ahead and run this again. All right, so you can see our controller has been created already. All right, so with this created already, next you want to go ahead and this actually creates um a migration file on the, on the model. So we're going to do PHP at the sun make model. So what's model we're making admin so with a migration file inside of it? All right, so we have our admin controller here. So in this place, I can go ahead and create. Sorry, so in this place I can go ahead and create a function. So this function can be called login. Alright, we can just leave that right there. Now, now let's get and open up this admin migration file. In our admin migration file, what we are going to be accepting is number one string. We're going to say stable string. It's going to be name. We're going to have table. Um table string also again, which is going to be email. And and this is going to be unique. Because hopefully, maybe in the future you want to add another admin to your application. You are going to do that. All right, then we're going to have table. There also string, which is going to be um password. All right, good. So we can go ahead and save this. So once this is done now, we can close and we can go ahead and do PHP at the sun migrate, which is going to run our migration for us. And we have an error that says. But up is live, it does not exist on my SQL. Nope. Done. Yeah, we have to create our migration file. So let's get an open up. That's env. Open up this dot env file here. And not this one, this one actually. Not the example. So we're going to select our um project. I'm going to call it my blog app. Alright, so we can copy this and we can go to our Patreon admin. I can go to the server and create a new database. So I'm going to create a new database. Um, new. This is inside and click on create. All right. So once that is done, now we can go ahead and run PHP at this and migrate again. You saw our database has migrated. So if you check this out, we see we have um admins in, in inside of it. Good. Once that is done, I want to add some basic data to our admin. So I'm going to create a, an admin seeder. So let's go ahead and do PHP. At the sun, make make um cedar mix it. We're going to call it admin cedar. All right, so it's going to create a seed for us. Then we're going to open up this admin cedar. All right, so once this is open up, we're going to call admin. All right, so we're going to call admin. Then we're going to call create on it. Once that is done, we want to have our name, so we're going to give it the name of admin. Uh, we can just copy this twice and this is going to be email. Alright, then in this email here, we can basically do admin at gmail.com. Then for our password, we can have hash, import hash. Then we're going to say make. What are we trying to make? Password. Then here we can convert this to password. Alright, so save that. And before we do this, so let's go to our admin. Here we have to do protected. Um, fillable is equals to. So what do we need? We need the admin. Oh, sorry, not admin. We need the name, email, and password. Okay, good. Then we can just go back and do PHP artisan db seed. Then we are going to select a class, which is admin seeder. 
right so data has been seeded already so if you should go to chrome and we refresh this you see our data here very good now since that out of the way let's go ahead and start making making the authentication system all right so what we can do is um go to our admin controller so instead of this login we want to pass in a request so we're going to do php at this time we're going to create a custom request make request we're going to call this admin login requests admin login request okay we're going to open up the file right so once the file is opened what you want to go ahead and do is at first once make this true and what that's done you're going to have email so this email here wants it to be required then we want um string i want email so it should be a valid email address we want to have password password then we're going to have required we're going to have mean minimum of six characters okay so once that is done already we can go back to our admin controller then inside here we can go ahead and pass admin login request so we can have our have a variable to it then this admin login request we can go ahead and do admin login request validated so yep so we are validating it directly so let's go ahead and test it so i'm going to open up thunder client again so we have our api test in this place so when we have it test here we have to pass in login so we need a url so what we're going to do is we're going to open up our api.php so api.php is right here then right under here we can go and do routes route um posts so it's a post request at the get request so we're going to use route posts and we're going to pass a login okay and um no way you're going to pass in um, something like admin login very soon but we don't need, we don't even need to do that since it's an application not a web url so you're going to pass an admin controller class we're going to select login okay so save that and um yep we should be good to go so let's go to our api back and let's go to login so this is going to be a post request and let's send this so you have email is required password is required so we are good to go and what we want to do now is create a variable admin we're going to do admin the admin so this is going to import the model to do where email so we are validating where email is equals to the to the requested email the email that was passed we're going to select the first then we're going to do if not email so, be, so basically if there's no admin with the email or maybe the password is incorrect there's an admin but password is not correct so it's going to admin check we're going to use hashtag i mean so we want to pass in the request requested password that the user entered also the uh, password that was saved in the database okay then we're going to open up a bracket and we're going to do return and i just noticed something this has to be like this not okay so basically if they are not matching to do response response so what response we want to give it we're going to give it a um, message that says invalid admin additions then we can go and give it um error 400 yeah. so good and what we can do now is um uh, we can go ahead and have token token is equals to admin then we're going to have create token okay so you have to create token we are going to have an error actually after doing this so you're going to have create token i call it admin login then we can select plain text token you will see the error very soon now we are basically once that is done we can go ahead and return the response so i'm just going to copy that from this place we're going to return response message sources admin our admin data and our token to so save that now let's go to our api and let's go to the body then well, let's actually pass our details so admin at gmail.com then let's pass password let's pass in wrong stuff then go ahead and click on send 
you have invalid admin credentials but if i should go down click on password um IP password i mean send you can see we have undefined method create token yeah so that was the error i was talking about so to fix this all we have to do is go to our admin model so we have to make, allow the admin admin model to also be authenticatable we have to import authenticatable a table all right so this authenticatable is not there because we need to import something as it's so we're going to do some use illuminate so we're going to use use illuminate going to be foundation slash sorry slash odd slash user okay as authenticated so basically i can copy this and paste this here all right good so that's what we want and um so basically what we can just do is go to our user model so there's always this user model by default and we can just copy everything here so i'm going to pass in as i am api token so we'll be able to use our api token also so save that and yep so here we are going to now do as api tokens and also as it's viable all right so once that is done now uh, i want to do something so basically when we are returning the user data i don't want our password to show so i'm going to use protected protected eating is equals to password so our password should not be returned okay so save this and let's go back to the request so if i should send this i can see we have our admin, admin data now very good so there's actually a little bit issue now which is um if you are trying to use me the so what, 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 what i mean is let's go to our api controllers so we have our startup which is by default for users so what i want to do is um i'm just going to copy some i'm going to copy something from here sorry we to copy something for here so we have a group with prefix of admin then we are selecting middleware alt admins so what we want to do let's go ahead and create this um post controller so we're going to do php artisan make controller which is post controller okay so once this is created i'm just going to import this then store we have store here so for that store i want to create a simple function here so this post will, um post controller is basically um how we are going to be creating our post very soon that will be the next tutorial so i'm just going to return yes all right so you notice that we have um a middleware in this place admin not admin which has not, has not been created before so basically we need to create our old guard for the admin so basically admin will be the only one to access it so right like right now if i should go ahead and send a request to what did i call it post and i click send you see um, which api post does not exist i'm coming let me check it okay admin slash post so it's going to be admin slash post when i click send you see odd guard is not defining value dot guard so we have to fix that so to fix that what you want to do is come over here and open your config i think odds.php actually we're going to open odds.php in this place okay so once auto page is open what you want to do is go to the guards i can comment this actually i comment that i'm going to use edit it set this to admins admins and we have driver so our driver is going to be sanctum so we, we are using sanctum api and our provider is going to be admins yep so we need to create oh sorry i, I was editing the wrong thing that's what i was said it so you know let's just cut everything here and is this supposed to be in the guide in the guides i mean so admins provider sanctum um driver sanctum then this is going to be provider should be admins so that provide this provider admins here we have to create it down below so which is going to be right here okay so our provider is going to be admins so we're going to have ad, admins sorry so we're going to have admins so we have admin here we're going to have driver so this driver here 
this is going to be eloquent basically like the way it's at the top we're going to select our model so our model the model is going to be app slash models slash admin all right good so once that is done i think everything should work now so all we can do is basically head over back to this place and click send now you can see we have unauthenticated yep so we are expected to have that why because we need to add our not token so let's go ahead and log in send send this i can just go ahead and copy this copy that then go to our um to our um out oh, sorry i'm forgetting how i'm supposed to put it so we're going to add it here here are token they were going to select admin slash test so click on send we have admin slash okay there's no test actually post sorry so click on send and you can see we have yes here basically it is working out so what we can do is an post controller so in the post controller here this will return it this year, so I can go ahead and return something like response. So what response do I want to return? I'm going to return admin. Let's, re let's return the admin name. So we're going to do alt guard. Sorry, alt guard. So our alt guard, remember, is admins. I'm going to select name. Let's just give this response 200, okay? Then now um, let's go to our request, send this. Open it that says card name. Hold on. So um post controller, sorry. Admins user, I believe. Select name, then let's click on send. Yep, so you can see we have admin here. Yeah. And uh, if you want to confirm other otherwise, you can use email just so as to confirm click send and we have email all right so basically we are done with the admin authentication system so in the next tutorial we're going to allow ad admin to create posts with pictures all right so see you next time peace